Yo, hello YouTube. Starting a new series today. It's your boy Crimson. We are here with some airport CEO. We're going to build Zero Skills International Airport. Well, we'll work up to becoming an international airport because today we're going to be starting with some general aviation. And as you've noticed, our logo is a paper airplane because that's just basically how sturdy my planes are probably going to be. I'm just kidding. We're just going to start off and Get things rocking with Zero Skills International. All right, we're gonna skip this intro because we've already done this on the Twitch before, so we're gonna start working on this right now. So I need to get a contract with some contractors. Let's see if we have a good one available for us. Mm, let's uh, reject that one. Reject that one. Oh, Bluebell with a four-star contract. Yes, let's go. And right now we need all you guys here. You guys will show up. We have to wait for the contract to show up. And okay, let's pull out a small list. I need the runway. The runway. At Entries and exits, taxiways, five stands, and construction of taxiways, completion, and a small air traffic control tower. All right, that sounds pretty easy. Let's get to work. So let's start off with a runway. Let's see what the difference is between grass and asphalt. Operating costs are expensive. A little cheaper. Hmm. I got two million, so we'll start off with the grass and we'll work up to more expensive stuff later. So let's start off. I want this as low down here as possible. So there you go. That's one over, one over. And this is where I'm going to build asphalt because. You can see grass doesn't have any of those other entrances, so I might as well plan ahead and get an asphalt. It's gonna cost a little more. For now, it's fine. Oh, so that's their entrance. And this is the exit. Pretty neat. Having that uh, taxiway being asphalt just there, but it's fine. We'll put a 5x5 five five area right there. 5x5 five five area right there. And, uh, hmm. So I want to just link them all right here. Yeah, let's go another 5x5 five five out. Five by seventy, that's good enough. Hmm. I just realize how awkward that looks. Okay, let's we're gonna we're scratch that entire area. I knew something did feel right about that. I picked the wrong I probably did. This one. Yeah, that that's what it is. They're waiting here and they land, they just turn instantly. There we go. Okay. And up five. Done. Okay. I'm going to do a few changes here because I'm going to future craft this place. So let's see. That needs to be how far? Here. I'll put this. I'll put this at the edge right here, and we're gonna get some service rooms. Right out this way. We're gonna need a vehicle checkpoint. This uh, splits the uh, airport from normal public roads to the internal service roads. So we want now. That's the service roads there. And I know I'm going to get some fueling services because parking, it's not that profitable. So there we go. 
So now that we know the extent of this area, I can start planning out services. So let's start with that tax foundation. We're gonna start as low as possible because eventually I want this to be just general aviation in and out. So up five that way. Now I know where my airplane my airport stands are gonna be. So one, two, three. I know they say, I wish these overlap because that would just say room. I know the tutorial says five, but that just looks wrong. So I'm gonna add a sixth one. No, and now we add some taxi there. There, and there. And now we need to wait for these guys to get up here. Now, since I don't need anything going up north, we're just going to build that far right now and save money. Okay, I think we have our bases for this airport, and I'm going to take these entrances and exits out because that just looks hideous now that I think about it. And we're just going to build a nice entrance right now. Mm -hmm. And Okay, here we go. All right, while the parts are getting here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, basically go over what I just did. So we got a runway. Planes are becoming here. Straight up, they're gonna go this way now and land their planes along here and here. Get up in the morning, they start lining up here and flying away. At least that's the idea. Yeah. I'm uh, missing the air, air traffic control tower. That's what it was. Mm. We'll build it up over here with a weather station because weather uh, plans are always great. All right. Now we'll start everything up, let them build this. Uh, pro tip, once you're getting close to almost finishing this, to save some money, watch the boxes. I'll explain it uh, once that comes up while they're building up these. Man, these guys build this stuff pretty quickly, you know, don't they? They just touch those things and poof, done. I am running on 3x speed. Airport's closed. Am I building stuff up? Yep. Mary stands there. Runway's not being built yet. Made taxiway everything shortly. Set. Once again, watch the boxes. Because once the last one goes away, immediately send them all home. They won't stop what they're doing, but once they're done, they'll immediately line up to go home. So. You see that very last box disappear. It's time for you to close up shop. They're, sorry, they're already starting right there. They're lining up because they're out of things to do. Boxes are being removed as they are. Yep. Done. We got two more boxes and last box is gone. Send them all. Seems this is almost done. Yep, actually no, they're all done. Okay. This is the exit, which is their entrance, actually, because these are named in reverse, because direction is actually based on going in and out of the runway. So we want the exit up here, so they would leave the runway going this way. This would be entrance to the runway. So let's open that runway, because we do anything more with that, and now we need to build the taxi. Taxiways are good.
Okay, so with that, all the taxiways are good to go. Now we need to open the airport, allow general aviation, and wait for the flights. Airport's open. General aviation's open. Boom. Really weird because I have asphalt here, but better to have the asphalt now than not have it later when you need it. There's the first. And we're making on four more flights. So while we're working on these four flights, let me see. I have a full fuel depot now. I already need to look at contracts. Can. Okay, so we have two four star contracts. Alright, 1.2 lit dollars per liter for av gas. And ooh, this one is 0.8 liters per av gas. So yes, I will sign with Fireball Mets Avi Fuel. Okay. Go. So I'll wait on that. I'm pretty sure once we finish these, yes, it's starting Avgas. So, setting up our Avgas systems. Um, so we need vehicles, vehicles, yes, purchase vehicles. Um, we have six stands, so let's just do three. That can be split between the two of them. Fuel trucks are enabling, and I need to enable Avgas services once everything's set up. Okay. We got four general aviation flights landing. Good to go, good to go. These guys are still going home because there's so many of them. <laughs> yes, okay, I did deploy them all. All right, we're good there. Okay. So these guys are fueling. Fueling, fueling, heating up all the gas. Wish I still had the fuel containers, but I think we actually have to upgrade to those. So, can I enable that service now? I can. Okay. Enable that. Basically, as they need gas, I'm paying so much in gas right now. I come out here. Oh. We basically charge $33 an hour for these stands. And how much do I get for gas? Okay, flat rate of $250. That is new because it used to be they pay for like, I think by the liter. So that's just a flat rate now. Maybe I can adjust those later with a CFO. For now that's not bad. I know we can charge for takeoff and landing as well. Mm, that's not bad. Good charge to make like next to no money on gas, but that's a different matter. These are just flying out in the middle of the night. Okay, still refueling. So pretty soon we're gonna finish that fifth truck anytime now. Go. That's another one. Here's our fuel. Uh, that's gonna be restocked shortly too. So, am I making money back on my fuel yet? Or okay, I'm making little money, very little though. But then the hourly operations fees just eat up everything. So we're not making a profit just shoot back. We're just making barely some cash every hour. So I guess. I'd say we're making a profit, but fees. Mm, yeah, have gas fees are no, we can still charge. So what if? Congratulations, you know the basics of airport operations. Okay, so next part's creating general uh, regional airport, but that will be you know tackle later, so Let's see if we can hire ourselves a good CFO. CFO, we will hire you. 
Wow, she has like no stats. Five dollars an hour versus forty-two fifty an hour. But yeah, uh, good skills. So we'll hire you. Now I can change my fees. Let's see how we can so add a gas fuel fee. It's point five. So we're actually losing money on that. No, that's two dollars. Let's uh, go down to one dollar. That raises our costs. That makes it sound really bad, but now we can jump this up to $600. And the uh, small stand parking fee, we can charge that up to $250. We'll see how that goes with Okay, so we're not liking general aviation fees. So let's edit those a little more. Let's go down to maybe 200. And... Or f no, let's get 600. For that, Av gas is already super cheap here. Maybe they'll like that if I adjust my price a little bit. So turnaround services, they're... Infrastructure quality, yes, I know my tarmac is horrible. These. So, stand parking fee, how about we lower the stand parking to 150? And we'll still leave it at 600 for that. How's that sound? You guys like that better? Oh yeah, there we go. That's a huge jump. So right now they just don't like the fact that our tarmac is horrible. But now we're making up some money. We're making back some There we go. So we're at 80% with general aviation now. Making no money on Avgas. But are we making more money per hour now? Oh yeah, we're making money. Takes a little, go a long way. Okay, so that gets that's good there. How much to upgrade this? Fifty grand. Good. So now we're gonna start doing these upgrades. Taxiway Foundation. Upgrading our foundation. Should be instant, yeah. We already have foundation in. This will also raise stuff up so I can change our prices later. So upgrades. Good asphalts. Good asphalts. Here to asphalt. This will fix our reputation. All right, so you guys should really like the quality of my uh, airport now. Let's see. They're loving my prices now. Let's see if that changes. Prices are going down a little, but I'm slowly gaining points there. I can give my average up to 80%, then I can start playing with prices. Right now, as airports, as airplanes are landing, they are landing some of my tarmac quality. Why are you... Yeah. Recent general aviation tarmac quality when landing and taking planes. Improved by upgrading tarmac quality and runway and stands. That has been done. So that is going up. My average is going up. Prices, they're loving it. Right now, they just don't like my infrastructure. 
Well, my infrastructure is, is as good as it can get. So that at this point, the question is, what's holding it back? Let's go to my dashboard. Um, emails. Total income breakdown. That's not bad. Forms reports. Not worried. Airport of the year. Not worried. Okay, so they are really liking us now. Means maybe I can raise my prices a little. Mm. Let's raise this to seven hundred for runway use. Let's see what that does to my score with these people. I'm making next to no money without gas, so. Tarmac quality is. Oh, they are really. Prices still. Because they're paying next to no for gas. That's the thing. They're, they're paying next to nothing for gas. They repair the runway. See if that mods what they think of it. Stands are still 86%. That's fine. Let's build some lights. Maybe the quality is because we don't have many runway lights. 500 piece, so why not build one every two? That'll be costly. But if I raise the quality of my lights enough, they might like landing here and uh, will look better at the end of the day to them. I don't know how many lights it's been, but. Oh yeah, we're like halfway up. We're getting there. Oh man, I didn't know there'd be this many lights. <laughs> Alright, got a bunch of lights bunch of boxes for those lights. So let's hire um, 20 contractors. Oh my god, not the plug all. Alright, there we go. These guys are getting on the bus and going home. That's basically what they're doing. And as always, remember, watch the boxes. Once the last box goes away, you send everybody home. I think my tarmac quality is literally based off the fact that I have no night lights at night time. Uh -huh. so we got all the lights, so you guys all go home. Okay, so... That looks like a good general aviation setup. What do we have to do soon? Build a terminal and everything. So I'd say that's a good place to stop for today. We'll start tutorial two next time and get that straight away. Good to go. We are uh, gaining our graces with the airlines. They are not hating the prices. And we're making a steady, steady profit. Not much, but general aviation doesn't make as much profit as actual commercial flights from a regional airport. So, remember as always to like, comment, hit that notification bell, know when I'm back with a, another airport CEO video. Leave some comments or suggestions in the comment box below. And as always, have a great day, great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever 
and whatever you're doing. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!